Ice, icicle, pin, pin, pinnacle, test, test, testing, one, two, three, and we live. In the previous video, we spoke about everything entertainment related, video, TV related. If you watch something on YouTube, how to track it, if you watch a series on a specific genre, how to capture that information. And today we want to do something similar, but for books and articles, anything else read wise that you come across that you would want to save for later or just have a log of when you read it. So we think chronologically, I've said this before and I'll say it again, that when you think back or when you're looking for something, you think of where was I? How long ago was this thing that somebody said to me? And you try to piece it together in your mind. And what we want to do is we want to open up our retrieval process for or two multiple channels. So if we want, let's say, a specific idea on artificial intelligence, it might be a podcast. Was it a podcast? Was it a book? People, maybe Tim Ferriss told me. So we want different ways in order to get to that piece of information. If you know it was Tim Ferriss, we said that, we might go to Tim Ferriss and look through, okay, cool, is anything AI related? No, it might be the podcast. Then we go to the podcast. Is there anything AI from last week? Well, I remember I got an idea about it in January. Then I'm like, okay, somewhere in January, there will either be a podcast or somebody mentioned it. I might remember it was Tim Ferriss. So, we want to add to that functionality just the hashtag structure as well. So on the right hand side, we can see for entertainment, for podcasts, for experiences, you can see how we broke this up. So we have entertainment, unentertainment with series, and then anime, fantasy, horror, blah, blah, blah. For podcasts, we have broken up into the different podcasts and experiences into like circus and coffee shop, and these will expand. If you feel you want to group it, we now know how to bulk replace things and it's easy enough to chop and change as your heart desires. So I have a video on bulk changing and I would recommend that you get used to how to bulk change things in order to overcome the resistance that comes with adapting your PKM. And I do believe that you need to adapt your PKM for your own style. But now what we want to add is a reading MOC and log structure for ourselves. So if we go to our daily notes, we can see that this one we've been populating for quite some time. So it is the 14th of February. So luckily this is a quick recording that I'm going to do, and then I'm going to go back to the Valentine's festivities. So let's make this a quick one. So we just open up the new note and what we want is we want log and we'll have something like, okay, it's going to be a book recommendation or we reading a book or we got an interesting thought of a book. So if it's a book itself, the note would typically be the book name. So let's say we are reading how to win friends and influence people and we can have a book icon, so Windows full stop. And let's choose this book. We can say read the new chapter of do 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 do. Let's do a open, sorry, a smaller as br and then a bigger as to show that it's a new line. Got an idea to convince people that watching this video makes me deserve to have some caffeine. Please support via buying me a coffee. So how to win friends and influence people is you do something small for somebody else. There's this rule of reciprocation or reciprocity reciprocity. Let's just call it reciprocation. And if you do something small for them, like making a video, they are more obligated or feel the obligation to do something of equal value back to you. So it's a way to, to influence people. I won't say manipulate because that's a bad connotation. So we're going to go with the positive connotation of influence. So this is something that we want to capture. We can and I think it's good to have a hash reading which source we get it, reading book. And this is on, what is the genre? It's to be self-help, so self-help. So now we know we, it's reading, or this note is reading related, it's book, it's self-help. Great. So anything else that we want to add to it, it would be, let's say, influence. So it gives us an extra tag to search for because that's what it's about. And then because it's a specific book, 
we are going to want to capture this note at reading book self-help. So we'll probably just search for reading book, but then we also want it to go back to this note, how to win friends and influence people. So if we open this up, we can, okay, we don't have a note yet, but we know that the formula is going to be similar to the people template. So we can just take all of this out. Let's just take all the metadata. We don't want anything except the heading. We don't want the people's links and we don't necessarily want that cover, but this is what we want. This data query, which basically uses the file name in order to just search for it. And I think since we spoke about this people's template, I think there's something that you can take out. And this is the piece that's not needed there. It doesn't really matter. Functionality is going to work the same, but it just takes that little row out. And then we have table, rows, details, the details, flatten the details where it contains this file name. So group by cool. So now it pulls in, read the new chapter of how to influence and influence people because we referenced the note, it pops up here. So this is one way to take notes for books that would go to the book itself. And what we want on top of that is we want this note to go to the reading log. So reading influence, and then we can even later, if you want, you can build in, if you're building up a repository of influence related notes, you can have an influence MOC, which I think we'll also do today because it would show you how to think about your MOCs. You want to expand your MOCs. When you feel that there's enough notes to, to argue for a new MOC, that is when you want to create it, but you want to lay the infrastructure, you want to lay the bricks with a good structure already when you start so that you can just, hey, I have a lot of notes on influence. I know I've already have, have made all the influence hashtags with regards to all the past notes that I've taken about influence. It would be easy enough to put it into an MOC. So that is how you need to think about it. Think of future you, be selfless to future you. So now that we have that, let's try and get a reading book MOC. And that's easy. We're just gonna create a new note under MOC. So right click new note, and let's just call this reading MOC. And let's go to, let's say television and let's take this data to query. And this might be a good time to say that the latest Obsidian template vault will be available for a, a mere couple of euros, basically three coffees in the link in the description. So if you don't want to follow along or pause and write all of this out, which is very cumbersome, I want to spend a couple of euros and save yourself some valuable time. This time is the most valuable thing that we have. So now that we have this, we want to change the hashtag entertainment to hashtag reading. You can even just stop there. Or if you really want to make this about books, you can go book and there we have it. And let's just make this safer for ourselves. So we want the lowercase so that if we have, if we go back here and we make this a capital letter and we go to the reading MOC, where we have a lowercase. Okay, it seems for hashtags, it's okay, we still have the lower. So let's just jump, jump and see if it still works. Cool. So if we take the lower out and we don't take the lowercase of this, where there's a capital letter, it's not going to be picked up. That's why we want to have a lower wrapped around the details. And then we want to reference the lowercase. Cool. So now we can see that we have it two areas. We're really sending it to the page on how to influence and influence people. And we're also sending it to the reading log. And an extra one is, well, we will get to it now. But you can see that we already have two ways of finding this note. And that is very valuable. So if you go back to our daily note, let's say we have another type of reading log. So we have log and this time it is Ferris recommended that I read the four hour chef. So my habit of making these type of notes is if it's a book, something physical, like a thing that you are going to have to, to buy and go through or buy on Kindle, you want to make a 
note for yourself already. You don't have to create it, but just lay the, the layout for yourself. So you can see that this note is not created. But in the future, if you want to do something similar as how to win friends and influence people, it would automatically get picked up by that book name. Because when you start a book, you don't know how many notes you're going to take. You don't know if you're going to find it valuable or not. But this just saves you work in the future if you want to create that book note. Okay, so I recommend that I read the four hour shift. I can do the same with the beginning, Windows, full stop, and let's call it a book, because it is a book. And then we have reading, book, and this would be cooking. So you can see we have the genre, so it's great. And here it's to read. So I'm still deciding which to read tag I want to use or how I want to structure my hashtags. So you have three options. You can do two dash read, or you can do two dash underscore read, or you can just go to read. This one, don't like the look of. The dash, I kind of like. So let's go with dash. So we have to read and yeah, so that's fine. So now let's say we want to capture all the things that we still want to read. Let's just create another log entry for something a little different. So let's go with paper. I'm going to read some scripture. I came across this funny article on a guy that moved to Amsterdam and wrote about his experience on public transport. And then control K to insert a link. And the article is called Public Transport in Amsterdam, pointing to a blind guy. Okay. So then we just go here and we enter the name of the article and then we can go back and let us enter the link. And this is hashtag reading blog or article. Let's go with blog. And this is on travel writing. Let's just go with travel. And this is something that I want to read. So to read. So the thing with this is once you're done, once you don't want, or once you've read it, you'll make a new note about it and it will go to different channels and you can take away this hashtag. So that's the whole point. You want to create a funnel for yourself in order to like, Hey, I definitely want to come back to this. I definitely want to read this article. I don't want to lose it. That is what this to read is for. Same for this book. If somebody that you trust gave you a recommendation, it is something that you don't want to let slip through the cracks. So hashtag to read. I'm not saying this is the best trial and tested method. It is something that I'm exploring. I am making a video on exactly this, the hashtag, hashtag structure, but I'm still figuring things out as I go. My advice to you is just start playing around with it. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. You have bulk fun and replays to be your saving grace. Ooh, that rhymes. Poets and I don't even know it. Damn! Jeez, just keep doing it. Okay, so let's go to our reading and see if it has captured everything. So reading, read the new chapter, great. Reading, do, 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 do. there's something missing. So if we go back, you can see that this one did not get picked up and I am not sure why. And I think it's because we said reading blog where the other one is searching for reading book. So like I said, you can split this up if you don't want books and articles to be at the same place, but let's just take this book out and yeah, that can. So one way to differentiate between books and articles is just your icons. Some people ask in the comments, can you use icons to filter to the different things that you want? Yes, you can. So in order to add a double condition, meaning you want to search for where it's reading and you want to search for when it's this icon, which I don't recommend, I would rather use the hashtag structure like this. And the reason for me saying that is I find the icons has limited use. It's nice to look at and quickly at the glance, which you can add without having to use it in filtering. It's it has that benefit of it. But once you start using it as tags, I feel there's a lot of limitations in the sense of as your vault get bigger, you're gonna run out of icons, it's gonna get confusing, where a hashtag structure allows you for some hierarchy, which icons don't allow. But again, if you know you're only going or would only be interested in a certain number of icons as like a, a tag that you use in order to filter through and make data view queries, then go for it. That is what I've been trying out for the last, let's say, two months. I did the filtering on, on the icons itself, but to me, it didn't work. 
or for me it did not work but for you it might but it's worthwhile to go through an example so let's say we want reading we want only articles to display here what we're going to do is contains lower details hashtag reading or so an or condition and you're just going to copy paste and we're going to say details you don't have to say low but it doesn't really matter and yeah just keep everything the same except hashtag reading deleted and windows icon and we want paper right paper and we chose this scribe very educated so look at this gentleman contains contains so now we have two conditions and it should only return where both of these conditions are met okay sorry so this is an or so either with reading or is this so we want an and condition and now we see this is the only one that came back great so that's a simple way to filter i'm just going to take this out because i don't want it and yeah next what we want to do is we want to create a couple of these log entries that we don't have to fill it in ourselves we want a log that automatically falls in the icon so let's just create a couple of these log entries and you can add to these as you wish depending what you want so log recommendation so this would be something like log somebody well first of all we want the book because it's a book recommendation somebody recommended to read book x and let's just enter Control k for link to set book okay so that's all the and then we want reading book and yeah, we can keep it there. But just know that you can have another forward slash and then say self-help or cooking. And this is book recommendation, so to read. I like this one. So now we have log book recommendation. Cool. Let's make another one. Let's do log article. Log to do, do. We want this piece of paper that looks like a scribe. And we'll just say control K for name here. And then obviously link there. And then we want hashtag reading. And if it's an article, article. So reading article, and then you'll say what the article is about. And if it's to read, you can add it there, but you don't need it. So you can see, you can make a log for log article to read or just log article, an article that you read and you want to add to your notes about that article. So once you've written your thoughts, you can obviously tie it into, let's say it's about psychology, you can add psychology, let's say it's about mathematics, you can make a hashtag mathematics. And you can see that you can add as many hashtags as you like. Whenever you do create a note, just do you think that you might want to be able to recall this in the future? You might not want to see it under reading. You just want to see it under fitness. So over time, you will create enough fitness notes that you can just pull into one spot and then you can create a fitness MSC, for instance. So let's go with the final example. And let's say that in our daily notes, we know that we have, let's say, read a new chapter of how to win friends and influence people. And I say, go to a fitness class. Fitness. Okay, cool. Came across a funny article of a guy moved to Amsterdam. Okay, now we log alt E, log podcast. A podcast about fitness. And this was the fitness podcast, how to peak performance, something like that. Then we have, let's say, article, article that we really read and the name of the article was something like how to use breathing exercises to increase stamina. And hey, lo and behold, it's also fitness. And this is one day, let's go, let's on this day, the 26th, we had a coffee with Tim Ferriss and he spoke about the best ways to stretch before a run. And also gave some hot tips here. So this was also related to fitness. So let's say this is a year down the road. You see that, hey, I know I've made a lot of hashtag fitness tags one way to see it 
would be to look here and like here you can see all the fitness but if you want to see everything on one page because we actually want to use that information that is when we create a new MSC. so the nice thing about hashtags is you can just make them as long as you have some structure you can just make them and then later when you feel you've used this enough that is when you go to files you go to MSC and you'll create a new note and the note would be called fitness MSC. And then you'll have a log system. So if you go to experiences, let's go to reading. We take this, go to fitness again, paste it. And then we just change hashtag reading to hashtag fitness. And now we have all the notes that we have tagged fitness. We have created an MSC out of nothing. We don't need to do any extra work because when we read or when we listened or when we consumed or when we had a conversation about fitness that you might want to implement yourself or use for future you, you just hashtag fitness. So that's one way you can create it. So I think we covered all our bases. I think that's about it. So there's nothing left to do except wish you a happy weekend. Gezien de carnaval. Alright, strength and honor. Till next time, buy me coffee. Thanks. Strength, strength, strength. Get the bread. <laughs>